There are no cars in the parking lot outside the Wickenburg Public Library, and the tables and benches outside its entrance are empty as well. Libraries are supposed to be quiet, but not this quiet. I've been coming here for the last five years, and it seems like there's always people in here. But not anymore. It's all because of a Tuesday night town council decision to close the library indefinitely. After lawyers representing the town and a group of library volunteers failed to come to terms on a contract for its future operation. Patty Sickles, vice president of that volunteer group, says the fight to keep the library open is far from over. No, we're not giving up, not by a long shot. The fight is still on. We're going to have a referendum. We're going to take it to the people and let the people decide. In a phone interview, town manager Gary Edwards declined to speculate on how long the doors would remain closed, but doubted that any agreement would be reached before the next town council meeting on March 7th. In the meantime, the locals are left with only their memories of the library. The people that work here are very nice, and the people here in town appreciate what's here, and it's just a shame. And so for this building, with a proud past and uncertain future, the final chapter remains to be written. In Wickenburg, Grant Martin, Cronkite News.